All right, here we are uh, live for a second time today. I'm gonna be live for about 30 minutes this time. Uh, and I just wanted to pop on here and answer a question posed on what I still call Twitter, but X, uh, by Eliza Schaefer. Uh, Eliza Schaefer used to work for Blaze TV and now he does his own thing. Uh, Mark's been on his channel mul multiple times, I believe. Uh, he's gone through a transformation all of his self where he uh, got his shit straight, stopped drinking, got his uh, uh, got himself in good physical shape, uh, I believe because he had a baby and congratulations to him on that. But he posed a question that I thought would be interesting to talk about and it was how do we solve the America's obesity epidemic? And I'm gonna show you the video uh, once we get a few people on about why, uh, about how uh, the, the video is disturbing, I'm just going to say, uh, and disturbing in like, you know, you're likely not going to be eating after you see it. Um, and it's also like super pathetic and uh, just, well, it's kind of like America right now. Um, I hate to even say that because, but in a lot of ways, we are very, 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 Kind of a pathetic nation right now uh <clears throat> but uh i get you know I, I deal with obesity all the time it's it's literally what i do like so this this is how i uh this is like what i do for a living is i talk about obesity uh and i coach people on a daily basis uh 365 for five or six years right now um as to, uh, give me one second. Um, all right. So I wanted to make sure that I sent all this out, but, um, I think it's important because I talk about this all the time where I hope everybody understands where I'm coming from with this, because it is not even a matter of, it's not a matter of attractiveness. It's not a matter of, of appeal. Uh, it's not a matter of aesthetics. It's not a matter that I think that, you know, eating yourself to the size of the two gentlemen you're about to see uh, is not clearly a sign of mental illness. Uh, all these things. It is the fact that, it is better for the person, our country, society, the planet, for, for people not to be engorging themselves to two and three times the size that they should be. It's out and out ridiculous. And society has just really lost its way in that not only have we made it so it's socially accepted to be so gluttonous and greedy that you will eat so much, overconsume so much, that you will then put an extra burden upon society if you wouldn't like eat yourself that way. It is just insane to me that society has gotten to the stage where we are celebrating this. Like the video you're about to see, these two people did it because they got a bunch of laughs and they think it's funny. Um, and I'm sure they're poking fun at themselves. But in our society today, you know, there are tons of women that do videos like this every day and they say they're gorgeous and sexy and shit like that. And we're just going to watch the video. And then I am going to just list off off the top of my head for roughly about 20 minutes the things I think we should do in order to reverse the obesity epidemic. Now, the reasons why we should, should be so obvious to people that it is rather pathetic that it is not seen. But we live in a society right now where we are trying to literally deny reality. Even though reality exists, we are trying to deny reality that people such as this two gentlemen that we're about to see and anybody else that is fatter than fuck uh, is in fact hurting themselves on a daily basis. Um, it's not good for them. We know this. Being fat as fuck eventually causes very serious pain, chronic illness development. I mean, people do not see, you know, you 
if you have a friend and they're in their 20s and they're 300 fucking pounds, you they are not going to be or stay 300 pounds until you guys are grandparents together and you know 80 years old. They ain't going to make it. We all know this because reality exists. We know it in our mind. We know that it is unhealthy. We are in complete denial of it, right? So it, it, by denying this to people's faces, like every time you tell one of your fat friends, you're fine just the way you are. Don't worry about it. You are hurting your fat friend, okay? Like, I mean, you really, really are. And it's it does not make you a good person. It actually makes you the shitty person. And I know that people think I'm the shitty person because I will say, you need to lose some fucking weight because you're fat and it's bad for you. People somehow have labeled that as you know, negative. However, it is kinder to be honest with people. First of all, it's honest with people instead of lying to their faces, but it is kinder to be honest with people than it is to lie to their faces, especially about something regarding their actual fucking health. But beyond all that, our society, at least in America, and we are the fucking, about the fucking fattest, that's for goddamn sure. We are definitely the most unhealthy, that's for goddamn sure. Um, we can't even protect our land at this point in time. We cannot get enough healthy people into our military to replace it. So we are literally, our, our military is shrinking as the society gets fatter and fucking fatter and fucking fatter, right? It, in fact, burdens the fuck out of our economy. And people can be like, well, these people consume, so the economy is going. They consume all sorts of things for, from multinational companies that that money doesn't stay in America. Get there faster. And even if it did, they're over-consuming, which also then puts more waste into the fucking environment. I mean, everything, it's a national, it is a national security risk alone to have a population as sickly and fat as ours. 60% of all Americans are on at least one daily pharmaceutical to function or fucking live. That is ridiculous. That is so pathetic. It's just sad. It saddens me to see what's become of America, how fucking fat we are as a country, and how pathetic we are. It is so horrible. It's so, it's just an absolute travesty that we are uh, at a, such a stage in our society where these people are viewed as it's perfectly okay, leave them alone, and there's a problem with you if you say something about it. But yet alone, it makes us slaves to the pharmaceutical industry because I say this multiple times. I say this all the time. We could lose 50 million Americans in like two months if the flow of pharmaceuticals is shut off. Like if the flow of pharmaceuticals to the United States all of a sudden just gets shut off, we could lose 50 million Americans that only are on medication due to their fucked up lifestyle. That... Because a vast majority of the people that are on medications, a vast majority of the $4.3 trillion a year we have in shared healthcare expenditure is literally because people eat themselves, drink themselves, and smoke themselves to death. It's out and out patheticness. And instead of calling us on this, instead of us saying no, our society being like, that is unfucking acceptable, we're like, slay queen, slay. It's fucking stupid. I mean, we are the dumbest fucking version of our country ever. I hate this fucking timeline. It's so fucking moronic. I really would like for the fucking dimensional shift to happen to go back to fucking 2019 timeline when people had some fucking sense about them. But this, and prepare yourselves, prepare yourselves, okay? This is Elijah's uh, post. Elijah said... The USA has an obesity epidemic. How do we solve this? And look at these two possibly men. Uh, one's got a beard, but that doesn't mean much anymore. But the other one could be a woman 
it could be a woman because when you're as fat as fuck as that dude is with the fucking fucked up hair uh, or blue and red hair, dyed, whatever, when you are that fucking fat, men and women look pretty the fucking similar when they're fucking shirtless like that. Literally, they look pretty fucking the same. But here we go. Look how happy they are. They're, 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 they're like The one dude has eaten himself to the point where he has more wrinkles than my fucking Sharpe. And he thinks that these guys are just loving this. Where, where's the fucking shame? And people are like, oh, you're shaming them. They should be fucking ashamed. <laughs> they should be ashamed. Look at these two fucking pathetic pieces of shit. One in crap. One in crap. One in crap. I mean, it's fucking ridiculous. These two motherfuckers, weak ass pieces of shit, frankly, have eaten themselves into deformity. They don't even look fucking human anymore. And if that's hurt your fifis, I don't give a fuck. Because it's real. They don't even, they're not human shaped anymore. They're like fucking manatee shaped. Reality exists. So what can we do to fix this? First, the first thing we need to get to, absolute first thing. And I know people are going to be like, well, it's the food. Well, it's this. No, the first thing thing we need to get to is impress upon all of society that it is your personal fucking responsibility not to glutton yourself to societal burden. It's your personal responsibility not to glutton yourself to societal burden. And if you do, we will only help you fix that shit for a finite amount of time because the very next thing we should do, if you glutton yourself, drink yourself, or smoke yourself to a chronic illness that needs to be maintained via some sort of monthly health care or daily pharmaceutical, we should only pay for that for 180 days. We'll give you 180 days to fix your fucking shit, and we will throw everything fucking at it. I, I mean it, like everything at it. Like, okay, you're 400 fucking pounds. You got 180 days to get off the fucking uh, uh, diabetes medication. You got 180 days to get off the fucking blood pressure medication. You got 180 days to get off of all this other medication. Or after that 180 days, you're paying for it all out of your own fucking pocket. 100% of it. You, you will not be able to submit it to insurance. You will not be able to get it paid for via the government. If you are going to be so fucking irresponsible that you are, in fact, going to glutton yourself to societal burden, you, we will give you 180 fucking days to fix that shit. And if you don't, it's all on you. Have a nice life. You will all this, The people will all of a sudden see that they should possibly not fucking glutton themselves because they can't afford to, they can't afford it. Because in reality, we can't afford it. We literally can't afford it. The federal government spends 1.9 trillion fucking dollars a year in of our tax money on healthcare. That's out of the 4.3 trillion dollars that would spend, 1.9 trillion of it comes from our fucking taxes. We're going to run a 2.2 trillion dollar deficit this year. And while 1.9 of it, not all the 1.9 goes towards taking care of people with chronic illnesses, a huge fucking portion of it does, probably at least 60% of it does. So 60% of 60% of $1.9 trillion as a newsflash is over $1 trillion fucking dollars a year in tax money that we spend on people's complete and total irresponsibility. It boils down to you taking responsibility for not gluttoning yourself to the point where you can't fucking bend down and tie your shoes. It means we should have, we should in fact encourage everybody to have enough personal fucking responsibility that they can wipe their own motherfucking ass without assistance. Because both those gentlemen dancing around looking like fucking Sharpays on the loose, both of them could probably not wipe their own ass without some sort of fucking assistance. And that's patheticness. We need to make it so our society will have sympathy for people with eating disorders as somebody that has an eating disorder. We need to make sure people have sympathy for it, but also hold that person accountable for their eating disorder the same way we hold somebody accountable for their alcoholism or their drug addiction. We don't just fucking be like, oh, it's tough. Oh, uh, uh, all, you know, fat lives matter, heroin lives matter. Alcoholic lives matter. They all matter. That's why we shouldn't fucking accept them being that way. I under fucking stand that it's hard 
Nobody, I, I understand it better than most people. I could binge 6,000 calories at a sitting, bitches. I, I used to be a 10 McDouble at a fucking, at a meal one, you know, fucking motherfucker. So I get it. But we cannot hold their hand. We cannot coddle people to health. So we need to stop coddling people. We need to make it so that we will help them should they make poor decisions for a long enough period of time. We will make it so we will, in fact, help them for the first six, you know, 180 days. We will throw everything at it. I don't give a fuck what it is. If, you, well, if they should pay for supplements, they should pay for uh, pharmaceuticals if they want to go that route. And I'm not a fan of the pharmaceuticals, but we'll try whatever the fuck we need to try to help this person get off of all medications from their lifestyle-driven chronic illness. A lifestyle-driven chronic illness should not last the rest of your fucking life. It should be over by you adjusting your fucking lifestyle. It is called a lifestyle-driven chronic illness for a reason. Your lifestyle drove you to it, and it keeps driving it. Adjust your fucking lifestyle. Instead of burdening everybody else, adjust your fucking lifestyle. It is not that hard. I understand we are a very stupid, 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 stupid society right now. I get that. But this is pretty fucking basic. It's called a lifestyle-driven chronic illness. Change your motherfucking lifestyle to avoid or help reverse or at least manage the lifestyle-driven chronic illness. But instead of doing that, we have insurance companies paying the fucking bulk of the weight for fucking things like diabetes, uh, diabetes medications like insulin and metformin. And the person takes metformin after their morning fucking donut. Pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. So the first thing we need to do is have people get some personal goddamn responsibility. That will be a great goddamn start right there. That'll be a good start right there. Beyond that, we need to take a look at what the fucking government does because they want you sick, fat, and fucking dependent. And we need to hold them accountable. It's all about accountability. We need to ask the federal government why they keep subsidizing the sugar industry by $4 billion of taxpayer money a motherfucking year. An industry that is poisoning our fucking people. It is an addictive substance. The, the ridiculousness that sugar products are literally marketed towards fucking children. Like ultra processed foods and all these sugary products are marketed towards fucking children when we have 300 pound teenagers. It's, it's ridiculous. There, there's no such thing as a public health, a government public health official. There's no such thing as a government public health official. There is a government pharmaceutical representative, but there is no such thing as a government public health official. Not anymore, because if there was, we wouldn't be having a life expectancy go down and a level of chronic illness that has never been seen on a motherfucking planet before. We need to hold them accountable also. We need to ask them, hey, um, excuse me. Why is the USDA telling people to have six to eight fuck or six to 11 servings of ultra processed foods possibly in a day? When all the evidence points to ultra processed foods producing cancer, causing problems with cognition, executive function of the brain, heart disease, kidney disease, diabetes, bone disease, you fucking name it, ultra-processed foods are literally being shown to be not only addictive, but they're being shown to be completely horrible for the human fucking body because they're not food. They're food-like products. They are food-like products. Why in the fuck is the government recommend we eat them at high quantity every fucking day. The U.S. federal government through the USDA recently, a few months ago, I did a video on it, did a study to see if they could produce a healthy diet made up of almost complete ultra-processed foods. Why, motherfuckers? Why the fuck are you doing that? We know you can't eat this shit in high quantity and have it be healthy, especially on the fucking long term. There is tons of studies that show that eating even 20% of this every single fucking day for like six to 10 years causes massive cognitive decline and massive executive function decline. And yet, due to our government's mishandling of this fucking shit, and I say mishandling being nice because it seems awfully purposeful to me, due to our government, we have American citizens, adults eat 57% ultra-processed food on the average, and children eat over 60% ultra-processed foods on the average. 
they want you fucking sick because they're bought and paid for by the pharmaceutical industry. And anybody that tells me any fucking different, understand that the pharmaceutical industry, we are one of just a few countries in the world that even allow them to fucking advertise on TV, yet alone the fact that 75% of all advertising revenue in America is from the pharmaceutical industry. We need to stop that shit too. We need to absolutely stop that because lifestyle avoidance, lifestyle mitigation should be the very first line of defense to avoid getting diabetes, to avoid getting cardiovascular disease, to avoid Alzheimer's, to avoid all of these things. Lifestyle, healthy lifestyle, getting proper activity, proper sleep, proper stress relief, proper hydration, enough time in the sun to get vitamin D. All of these things are of a healthy fucking lifestyle, eating whole foods in moderation and viewing any ultra processed food with the same care as you would alcohol. You know, ultra processed foods that are just as bad, if not worse for your body than alcohol, that we are marketing towards children. We need to hold them accountable. We need to make it so children are recommended at zero grams of, of added sugar. They are recommended to have zero grams of added sugar. Zero. We should treat sugar, processed sugar, with the same care as we do alcohol. That's an absolute. We should absolutely do that thing. Any fucking social media platform, our government should be stepping in and being like, hey, you just showed a 400-pound person gluttoning themselves on 10,000 calories worth of fucking noodles. Look at you, Nicado Avocado. And that person is not only in the recommended feed, but there is probably 10 ads on his fucking videos. You're paying this motherfucker to show binge eating, overeating, food disorder behavior. What the fuck? I'm all for free speech. Let Nicado Avocado eat himself to death for fucking free if he wants to, but we should not be like enabling it. Our social media platforms should not be making it seem cool and it definitely shouldn't be profitable to eat yourself to death. We would not allow somebody to shoot themselves up with heroin until they're in a fucking stupor on fucking camera and have them get paid for it by the fucking, uh, by the uh, social media platform. We absolutely would not that. So we need to re, re we need to re take another look at social media as another way to cure the obesity epidemic. We need to make it so when somebody says, you can't tell me I'm not healthy when I'm 300 pounds, they are laughed at because it's laughable. We see you fucking struggling, you waddle. Nobody that waddles can tell me that they're okay. Nobody. Nobody that waddles can tell me they're okay. Because you're not. Because you're waddling. It's patheticness. It's absolute patheticness. We need to start holding people accountable, not coddling them. We need to start encouraging people to, in fact, fix their shit instead of being taken care of like little fucking babies. It's bankrupting the country. It is impossible to even argue the fact that it was not used as a method to, in fact, infringe upon our constitutional rights in 2020 because I perfectly remember many times people being like, well, yes, you might be safe from the cold, but we also uh, have a ton of immunocompromised people in America, all sorts of people with diabetes and all sorts of people with cardiovascular disease and all sorts of people with liver disease that we need to protect them. So you need to stay the fuck in. So we're going to lock you to fuck down, close all the fucking businesses, which included gyms, which is fucking comical. It's insane to me. Like, this is what we need to do. We need to actually realize that reality exists and being fat is, in fact, fucking bad for you. We need to make sure our fucking government will at least even mention it. Fauci only mentioned one time the obesity epidemic, and that was when he was saying that's why he didn't want to uh, let everybody go. He didn't want to let it fly because he wanted to make sure that we took care of everybody because we had, you know, the obesity epidemic and those people were at risk. Even though some people wouldn't be, those people would be at risk. He said it. Rachel Walensky, who was the CDC director, never fucking spoke about obesity. The entire time she was the CDC director and went for uh, during the pandemic, she talked about making sure the pregnant women got the fucking jab because she had no evidence for it, but she was saying it was perfectly safe. She talked about all these things. We need to start holding everybody, our government and our citizens responsible for their own fucking health. We need to absolutely make sure that people, that we, 
that we as people hold each other accountable saying, I understand you've got a problem with food. I understand that you, in fact, don't mind being fat. But if you get a lifestyle driven chronic illness because you are 300 pounds and you start your day off with a thousand calories of Starbucks fucking uh, latte and donuts, if you get one of those, we will help you for 180 days. And then after that, it's all on you. People would fucking stop. People would stop. We enable people by fucking subsidizing their fucking illness. We subsidize their poor lifestyle habits, and it causes them to, in fact, hurt themselves even more. Reality exists. I, I challenge anybody to try to fucking say this isn't fucking true. Anybody. And anybody can be like, well, some people are just born fat. We did not genetically mutate in the last 40 fucking years to have 60% of the population be fat as fuck from, you know, in the fucking 80s. In the 80s, there was almost no fucking fat people at all. Almost every high school dude had abs and fucking arms and neck and muscles and shit. Almost every fucking high school kid did. We did not mutate to the point where most of them look like they fucking waddle and are, you know, baby Sharpays. It's fucking ridiculous. The debate, the, the, uh, Crystal just gave me a look. Baby Sharpays are very cute. It is not cute when a human looks like a Sharpay, like those fucking dudes. It just is not. But those are the few basic steps for real. How about this? How about making sure that if somebody is on government assistance, you can only buy whole foods. You cannot buy ultra processed foods or sugary items with it at all, at all whatsoever. How, how it's not even fucking food. It's not even food. It's not nourishment. It is absolutely not nourishment. It should only pay for produce, veggies, fruits, and fucking meats. That's it. That's it. No ultra processed foods on an EBT card. None. Zero. That much. No soda. No nothing. Nothing. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. If we keep talking about how obesity is a, is a thing of poverty, it, our, our, our assistance programs to help out impoverished people can't include the things that are going to make them fat. Tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me where I'm wrong. How about this? Here's a good one. If there's a locally owned farm, a family locally owned farm, they have a 0% tax rate, a 0% in, uh, income tax rate. Ultra processed foods, tax 50%. How about that? It's not even food. It's for pleasure only. It should be taxed like cigarettes and like fucking uh, alcohol. It should be taxed the fuck out of. It should be taxed the fuck out of. Food shouldn't have any tax on it because it's food. It's what we were supposed to fucking eat. But literally, ultra processed foods, throw a 50% tax on that motherfucker. If you really want it, you'll fucking have to fucking really spend to get it. Cut all subsidies to ultra processed foods. All subsidies to ultra processed foods. Tax that shit 50%. Make it so local farmers don't get taxed at all. Put, keep the money in the fucking, in the local economies by encouraging people to shop at local farms, local fucking uh, cattle ranches, local fucking uh, dairy farms, local fucking chicken farms, local fucking rabbit farms, local fucking fruit tree farms and vegetable farms. Keep it fucking local. Keep the fucking money in the fucking economy. It's basic, basic shit. I refuse to believe that some angry fucking tattooed bald ass motherfucker who just happened to work in the healthcare industry for 12 fucking years as an executive has figured all this shit the fuck out. But our public health officials that are in charge of fucking billions of dollars, hundred trillions of dollars a year of fucking money can't figure this shit the fuck out. Get there faster, people. Hold these motherfuckers accountable. There is no, again, one more time, there is no such thing as a federal, a government, public health official. There's no such thing because they have fucking shattered public health. They have literally made it so in the last 40 fucking years, we, our health, our chronic illness has nosed up. At a time when our pharmace pharmaceutical knowledge and our healthcare knowledge has skyrocketed, so has obesity, cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, the wave of fucking chronic illness that is about to happen in the next couple of years from the increase in the obesity epidemic from over the pandemic is going to be fucking 
biblical. There's about to be likely 80 million to 100 million people diagnosed with type 2 diabetes in the next five fucking years in America. One out of every three people is likely going to have type 2 diabetes in the next five fucking years. That's how crazy it is. But 100 million people are estimated to have pre-diabetes right fucking now, and we are not adjusting it. We're just hope the you can literally see them frothing at the mouth, hoping these people get diabetes so they can put them on Wegovy or Ozempic or insulin or metformin. Bring you uh, for high schools, bring back physical physical education every fucking day. And as a newsflash, unless you can pass a minimum physical education, you don't fucking graduate. You don't fucking graduate. What now? I'm not saying we can't make a stipend for people that have disabilities. I'm, I'm not making. I'm not saying we can't do things for people that have like you know other issues. But unless you've got some sort of disability, your that kid should be able to fucking move a little bit. That kid should be able to fucking do a few push-ups, especially if they're a boy. Especially if they're a boy, because guess what? That's who should be fighting in our fucking army. That should be should be fighting in our fucking wars. Right now, they're getting ready to draft women because we can't produce enough fight-worthy men. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Wake the fuck up. The obesity epidemic is not that easy, not, not that easy, not that hard to fucking solve. It's really not. It's all a matter of personal responsibility, and it's all a matter of us holding people accountable and not coddling them, not enabling them by making it so that their very tragic lifestyle choices due to a lot of times their eating disorder that they get from becoming addicted to ultra-processed foods, that is being coddled. They want you sickly, fat, weak, and dependent upon that. That's not their fucking role. Their fucking role is it should, be, it should make it so we can do shit on our own. That's all I got to say about that. I hope everybody had a great fucking time. I'm not really going to take questions right now. I'm going to go fucking talk to my wife and calm the fuck down because... And Elijah, I hope you see this. I hope you understand that I would gladly talk about this at nauseum with any fucking body because I understand this may hurt a few people's feelings. Like, oh my God, you want to take away their health care after 180 days? You're fucking a right. If people avoided trying to fuck, if, if people would avoid getting sick in the first place by watching out for their fucking health, it would help out a fucking shit lot. I don't know why that's just sounded Irish. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Conor McGregor just jumped out of my fucking body. I don't know. But it would help out people a fucking lot. So, yes, I am talking about cutting off your fucking assistance after 180 days because you can fix this shit. You can avoid it and you can fix this shit. And I'm not talking about people with type 1 diabetes. They can't fucking afford. The problem is we make it more expensive for people with type 1 diabetes. People that can't do anything about this shit. It's more expensive for them. It puts a massive burden on our fucking healthcare system. Like 90% of the $4.3 trillion we have is from chronic illness and mental illness. And chronic illness and mental illness in almost the 80 to 90 percentile range are all avoidable by lifestyle change. Reality exists. Per the C that's per the CDC, by the way. So they know this shit. They absolutely know this shit. They just don't want to fucking fix it. You know why? They want you sick. They want you fat. They want to be able to control you. They want you weak as fuck. And they want you dependent upon the people that actually pay them. The pharmaceutical industry. I said what I said. Have a good day.